Washington Huskies have elected to receive, and Batonzo's kickoff has gone into the end zone. And so let's get on with it. Watch Hines and Hunt, the running back. Hunt, number 45. Hines, number 22, is a tailback. They're in an eye formation. Right out to the left and right, and Hines gets the call. And he's got down at the 21-yard line. Malosan is in there. That's where LSU's had his problems over the years. All right. Larry Michael, Lance Dodson, Ted Brosey, Dan Ernesty, Ricky Mallory, Dennis Mayer. That uh, offensive picture for the Huskies. There's a throw out to Stransky, and he's knocked out of bounds as he crosses the 30-yard line. So Pelour, who's been hotter than a depot stove, is ready. He's a 6'3", 2'10". Sterling Hines is a 190-pound tailback. Hunt is a 225-pound fullback. And Stransky... So we've got a third and four, the first possession of the evening for the Huskies. Stransky in motion. Pelour drops. Caught by Stransky. Knocked down by Dale. Indiana. And the Huskies have only averaged 29 yards per punt. A high snap. He gets off a line drive. Could be brought back in a good position, but they're going to let it roll. Well, the Huskies are lucky on that one because the ball rolled inside the 35. Here you see LSU's offensive set. Eric Martin is a guy, Wayne, that hasn't had too much impact so far this season. I think we can look for him to play a part tonight. All right, Smith and Barry, the anchors on that offensive line, 290 pounds of tackle. Wickersham's going to whip it out on first down, and it's caught by Fontenot, and he's up to the 43. There you see Lang, Wickersham, Hillard, Fontenot in the backfield for LSU. All right, here we go. Second and one, nine-yard pickup. Junius Durrell in motion. Pitch back to Dalton Hilliard. He finds a little crease, gets over the 45. And here you see Washington's defensive line, and those three all have a lot of experience. All Letterman, all returning. And LSU's going to have to control those three. Their linebackers on the outside, Hill and Small, are real hitters. Their inside linebackers are their leading tacklers, too. Single setback now with Fontenot in motion to the top of your screen, and Wickersham drops deep, sets up, and whips one out here, and it is incomplete. And I don't know where the... In Pearson, Jackson, All Britain, and Leaphart in the secondary for the uh, Huskies of Washington. The Huskies had to punt it away after their first possession. And the Tigers of LSU, a packed house here in Baton Rouge, and a great, beautiful night for football. Wickersham, he's got it, Eric Martin on a slant. First and ten. Tigers with the football, moving it in Washington territory. Pick back to Dalton Hilliard, and he is smothered. Good lateral pursuit. So we've got a second and ten now. Two wideouts to the left. Motion from Hilliard, who was set up on a flanker, and Wickersham stampers, looks. Away we go, deep, way overthrown. He got rid of that one, didn't he? Third and ten. Once again, motion by Hilliard. Wickersham looks. Open, hot, down to the 21. Fontenot again. And we've got two wide outs split. High formation again for Wickersham. A little shift in the line there for the Husky defense. There's D Hildred with the ball. And the little 197 pounder from Patterson, Louisiana. Wickersham is uh, three for five for 41 yards. Down to about the 12 yard line on third and one. Fontenot in motion. Dalton gets the call. Hey, and he plows over the right side, over the right shoulder of the tackle. 9.23 to go. Here in the first quarter, no score. The Tigers knocking at the door. Hilliard gets the call. Down inside the five piled up. They're up against a ball club that's 2-0 this year that came from behind to beat Michigan in the fourth quarter that won 10 and lost two last year. Hilliard again to the right. There he goes. Tanzo's kick is up and good. So with 8.30 remaining on the clock in the first quarter, the Tigers lead 7-0. We'll be back in a moment. Fourth touchdown of the campaign. The kick by Batanzo. One yard deep. Green is knocked down at the 17. As you see here, by scoring seven points, Melissa Chapman, Burks, and Dubrock, they're fired up and they're ready to play. All right. The Tigers look like they mean business. Steve Pelour, the quarterback. 
from Washington. Takes up position behind the center. He has a single setback. Now he brings Hunt in motion. And he gives it to Hines, who's caught behind the line. Second and 13. Pelour, quick count, looks, brings it down, rolls out. He's being chased. Throws it to the ground. Is it intentional grounding? Breaks a string of 16 consecutive passes. Jefferson is in, a nickel defense now for the Tigers on third and 13. Pelour is hounded back, throws. And who's got it? Jeffrey Dale intercepted. Incomplete. Jeffrey Dale cut in front and grabbed it. And listen to this play. And that's another completion for Steve Pelour. Botano. Motion. Coming this way. Gary James hurdles. First and ten. Big run by Gary James. He gets the call, drops it. Wisely falls on the football with a second and 13. Once again, a wing back with a single setback. Lang drifts out, but Wickersham looks this way and overthrows Martin. Jeff's got to cut down those interceptions, but there was no chance that time. Third down and long. All right, what do we do here? The Tigers lead seven to nothing. Jeff Wickersham, draw play to Lang. And he's down to the 15 and will go for the field goal. 32 yard attempt. Batanzos kicks it high and straight. It's 10 to nothing. Tigers, 557 to go in the first quarter. We'll be back in a moment. The Huskies must be stunned. The kickoff by Batanzos. Green, a yard deep. Hit! Oh, oh what special team! Previously scored on a four-yard run by Hilliard. Steve Pallor. Smothered! Steve Pallor. Must wonder what hit him. Draw play again. Gets a yard or two at the most. Has been intercepted by Dale. Has been harassed by the defense. He drops back to the goal line. Whips one deep for Green. Deep and he made a great catch. No. No, he dropped it. Oh, he had her back. And, another and it's another short one. Hobbly goes for it then dodges it and it's loose. And who's got it? That was not fielded too well by the Tigers special team. They didn't know what to do with it. And Washington came up with it. A, a critical error by LSU to even try to touch that punt. All right, a big break for the Huskies on the kicking game. Strong left this time as they shift. Steve Pallor drops to throw. His longest completion this year, 20 yards. And that's Stransky on the far side. And he's, you have to watch Stransky. He's a good receiver. There's a give to Hunt, the fullback, straight ahead. He's the only fullback that's carried the ball for Washington. All right, let's see if the Tigers can break that string. DeFeo now is the fullback. Pelour drops back, whips one out here again. It's short and caught by his tight end over around the 30-yard line. First and 10 now for Washington. They can get back into this ball game. And there's a give to Jackie Robinson, who's... There's motion by Stransky to the bottom of your screen. Going deep this time for Green, and... He grabbed it. What a great catch, because he was well covered. That's 24 yards, that's their longest pass completion of the year. Jackie Robinson into the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies. Well, the fumble punch, which gave the Washington Huskies a second life. All right, ready for the kick from Jager, the freshman, and it's good. Jeff Jager, the first freshman to earn a kicking job in a long time at Washington, and he gives the boys their seventh point, and it's 10 to seven LSU now, and that sort of quiets the crowd a little bit here. And who do we have deep? James and Jefferson. 
And James is going to down it five yards deep wisely. And Eric Martin and Fontenot are the wideouts. And Wickersham looks right all the way. Hilliard gets the call and drops the ball as he is hit hard. Now it's Fontenot and Martin. Or Durrell and Martin. High formation this time. Hilliard. Blocked by Lang. A beautiful block by Lang. Springs Hilliard. Away we go. But a great run by Hilliard. Oh, what a play. 65 yards. Gary James in the ball game. Crashes off the right side. Gets inside the 15. Uh, that's a good point. Second and eight. James. Cuts inside the 10. High. Oh, to the goal. Trenton, Louisiana. What a run. Touchdown. Straight ahead. Tigers are back. shows that they are maturing as the ball club together for the kick sky high and good 17 to 7 the Tigers lead in a power pack first quarter with 20 seconds to go and LSU did it just with their base offense plays no trick the Conzo straight ahead kick green at the four Boom! He is horse collared and bulldog. Hunt and Hines in the backfield for Pleur. Bang, you're it. Out of bounds. What a crushing blow. A late hit. That's absolutely right. If, if you're going to call the penalty on Chapman for the late hit, you've got to call delay of game on the receiver. Steve Pleur hears a lot of noise down there. Gives the ball to Hunt, the fullback, and Chapman meets him head on. We've reached the end of the first quarter, a power-packed episode. Indeed, the Tigers lead 17 to 7 back in a moment. All right, a face mask was called. We'll get around to that. Pelour. Saying, all right, don't let it get you. Here we go. Pelour. Hit back to Hines. Hit hard. Knocked down. Boy, those Tigers are pumped up on defense. One of the many prides of Baton Rouge on this uh, LSU team. Second and eight. Patterson in motion. Pelour looking. Rolling. And he found his man, Patterson, down at the 27-yard line, and he caught it. So they had to watch for a short pass to him. Now he has twin sets to the left. He gives the ball to Hines. He runs to the right, and there's Barbe and a whole bunch to meet him. Stransky and Patterson are the wideouts. Motion now from Patterson. Split backs this time. The blitz. blitz is on. He eludes it temporarily. Hot from behind inside the 25. You wouldn't hear it here anyhow. Now we've got a second and 25 for Washington, and Steve Fuller drops back. He's got a man open, and it's his tight end again, Michaels, and he gets lumbers down to the 27-yard line. We can not cover him. Toby Caston, the freshman from Monroe, checks in now. Third and nine, big play. Here comes the play. Here they come, and there he rolls. He's chased. Fuller can run. He's 6'3", big guy, caught from behind, out of bounds. Big run. And Chapman made the play to prevent the first down, a 35-yard field goal attempt by Jager, and it is no good. The Tigers have held with 12.58 to go in the second quarter. 17-7, pitch back, James, right side, up the side. Rathjen now is a, is a setback. As James goes in motion, it comes back where he started and hurries up field, and Wickersham is looking for him, and he overthrows Martin. They never threw an out-of-bounds pass that well. Motion now. Draw. Well, they smelled it out pretty good. Now motion brings Fontenot down. Wickersham drops. He's got some time. Dumps it off to James. 
Look at that little guy go. Boom. Leapart finally runs him out of bounds. He did take a lick out of bounds, no doubt about it, but he comes back for more, this time on the right side. To the 40. The stadium is jam-packed. Rastian is the fullback. James in motion. Twin sets to the top of your screen. Rastian, quick hitter to the 35. Well, that gives him a fresh start, first and 10. Wickersham pumps twice. Goes deep. Good play. Now it's Eric Martin to the top of your screen. And Fontenot goes in motion. And it's James to the 30. Charlie Chaplin and Crazy Legs Hurst. Third and five. James says, whoop, they go back this way. Wickersham dropped way back. Look. Good shot. Hot. Down to the 10. Eric Martin. It is successful when worked right. First down on the nine. James, head down is hit hard. He runs into a wall at the six-yard line. He's a tough inside linebacker. Fans shouting. They want more. So do the Tigers. Wickersham looks left. He's got time. He's chased now. Uh-oh. Sack time at the 15. There was a hot dog vendor in the third row. Would have liked to have had that one. All right. Bumble. Suddenly, things are going backwards. Fontenot has a shot. If he can turn the corner, gets down to the 20. What an effort. 37-yard field goal attempt by Batanzo. So from a first and nine, the Tigers go to a fourth and 20. 37-yard attempt. The ball is down. The kick is up and no good. A dying quail off to the right, and the Tigers stutter and stop. Two rolls and no coffee. 7-17 to go, and 17-7 to the score, Tigers. There goes Michael in motion, and Pelour drops. Wide open. That guy's pretty good at getting open, I'll tell you that. And Pelour is 10 of 13 for 88 yards, one interception. Patterson in motion. Pelour has Patterson wide open at the 30, and he's knocked down at the 32, 33-yard line. Well, thus far, they have eschewed the long pass in their offense this year. Michaels now to the right side for a strong right formation and an eye. And that's Ron Jackson. Telling when it was against us. The ball on the 23. Say it worked again, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Single setback and a wing. And he gets the call. And it's Hines to the 26. And then settle for two rolls and no coffee as they backed up. Steve Pelour drops. Green has it, and there's a flag on the play. And now you have third and 14. All right, third and 15. Pelour drops. Oh, he's got Patterson wide open, and they get the first down. And I mean, he was wide open. As the Huskies are down by 10, and they have plenty of time. 4.20 to go in the half. Pelour again goes to work. He rolls this time, and there's a flag being thrown. Pelour is running, and he's going to gallop out of bounds. Well, that was a good explanation of the chop block, but the penalty was holding. Five-yard penalty, first and 15. Blitz! Lewis! He caught it! Wow, they beat the blitz as Robinson caught the pass. It's a pretty close situation. They almost got him that time. So they picked up 19 and 14 on consecutive pass plays, and there's DeFeo, the fullback. Burt Jones, I believe you hit, what, 17 in a row one time? Or? That was a long time ago. Pelour wants a lot this time, and he's got Patterson, and he dropped the ball. And they got that single coverage, and Clark just reached up, and I think he batted the ball down to the ground. Second and ten. Pelour is going to the air again. He's being chased this time. Barbe's after him. Kiddick is after him, and he goes out of bounds. Bump. A clip is the call from referee John Cook. They're still in their own backyard with a second and 32. But they're dangerous in these long yardage situations, as they've evidenced. This time they're picking up the charge. Pelour throws out of bounds. 
Third and 32. Holden Tigers. Look at the tight end. Deep, deep, deep to Patterson again. And did he hang on? He did. Fantastic catch. Wayne, I don't believe that he did. The ball bounced on the ground. It appeared that it did. Here you see Pelor go back. He laid the ball out perfectly for Patterson. Patterson dove for it, had it momentarily, hit the ground, bounced up, and then he caught it coming out. And now they're calling it back. They're calling it back. They're playing him short. They're looking for a wedge shot. It's high. That's what it is. It's a sand wedge. Gathered in on the 37 by Hobley. <laughs> Two minutes and 18 seconds. Will the Tigers think offensively here? They have Rathjen in along with uh, Lang. I think, no, that's James, excuse me. Dumps it off. There he's going. Here he goes to the 45. A lot of things which have made them an exciting offensive football team. First and 10. James gets the call again. This time a good play behind the line. Move that football. Lang and James in the backfield. Wickersham looks to the right. It's Eric Martin to the 26. James is lined up on a wing to the left with two wideouts and Fontenot in motion topside. Here comes James around and he's hit and hit hard and it's Krakowski. They were ready for it that time. 41 seconds. Wickersham pressure's on. Pass is deflected. No good. Lang and James. James is on the wing. The line gives him time. Incomplete. He had him. All right, 38-yard attempt by Batanzos. The kick is up, and it is good. Let's take a break with 20 seconds remaining. 27, the Tigers back in a moment. All right, a little knuckleball kickoff by Batanzos. And it's gathered in by Jacques Robinson. Steve Pelour drops, rolls, throws it deep, and it ought to be intercepted. And it isn't. Well, I shouldn't say ought to be. They've played a good, tough game on both sides of the ball, and the Huskies are going to run it. And they'll go to the locker room, trailing by 13. The crowd likes it, as you can hear, the sellout crowd here in Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge. Bert, what do you think? I think the Tigers are playing LSU football, as they say, leading 20 to 7 at the half. For Washington. Good kick. James drops it and downs it. And all right. Away we go. The Tigers with the football. Lang is the fullback. And Hilliard gets the call and slants up to the 25. 205 pound James, 197 pound Hilliard. A little shift in the defensive line. Hilliard gets the call and he's smothered by Krakowski, the linebacker. LSU is four of six in third down conversions. Washington is one of six. Hilliard in motion. Oh, Wickersham almost falls, regains his position and throws to Fontenot a strike. And how's that? First and 10. Fontenot caught only eight passes last year. He's very active this year. A new look in the offense as now Lang tried to pass Christian Mississippi as the fullback at 200 pounds, and he's a good one. And Hilliard gets the call. Lang throws the block. Hilliard hits the outside, spins, and turns up to the 38. A normal defense is three down, and they got four down this time. Hilliard now is 101 yards and 12 carries. Wickersham, the blitz is on. And he unloads it incomplete. And that is not very extravagant. Here's the first punt of the night. And it's a shank job. Wow. Down on the 40-yard line, it'll roll dead at about the 38 or 39. And uh, what happened to Clay Parker? A 23-yard kick. The Huskies with the football on the 39-yard line. Single setback. Wing right. Two wide outs and Pelour drops. Over the middle, Michael is wide open again to the... 46 or 7 yard line. Caston put a very good hit on him. 
the youngster. There's Hines, and he is stopped at the line. And now we have a third and eight. Tiger defense digs in. What do we have? Third and one it was. They had a mistake there on the scoreboard. Third and one, and a quarterback sneak by Pelour. And stretching that chain out there, and they got it. Well, Pelour is 6'3 and about 210 pounds. Fans here giving vocal support. Hunt in motion. Pelour falls down. That's it. All right, second and 18. Single setback. Draw play gets, whoa, he's working hard. Up to about the 44, Jeffrey Dale comes up to help stuff it. Along. it thought he was hit late and in the back. Third and 15. Barbe is on the center's nose. Pelura drops. Here they come, shooting the gap. He gets rid of it, and a flag is thrown. Not going to call it on him. So it comes down to the judgment of the official. And that is what they called it on, I believe. Waiting for the snap. It is short. Oh, and caught and gathered in at about the 43-yard line. Well, that's how Roger Carr started out punting on the tryout. All right, Wickersham gives it to James. He's trying to find some place to go out the side door, but he can't. Good pursuit along the line. A lot of fans watching the football game live. Lang is a setback, and uh, James is a wing, and there he goes around the left side on that inside handoff. And they drop him at about the Tiger 48-yard line. James is a tailback in motion from Fontenot. And James gets the call, trying to turn the corner, and he does! The stadium record for the Florida State game two weeks ago. 82,390. James gets the call, and he's caught behind the line of scrimmage. A good play. Back to the eye formation. Fountain no motion a little bit. Wickersham falls down and covers the ball. He didn't fall down. That's the second or Is the third. I don't know who y'all are talking. Third, <laughs> <laughs> third and 18. And it's wide to that 14 and a half. Wickersham drops quickly. Look. What a shot. Oh, wide open. Eric Martin. <laughs> Woke up that 82,000 again. Hey, here's a pitch back to James. Good block by Lang. Cuts inside. Gets to the 17. That is Ron Holmes, the starting tackle, leaving the field for Washington. The defensive line shifts. Wickersham gives it to James. This time he goes left, head down, gets inside the 15, but very good pursuit. Martin to the short side of the field. James to the wide side of the field. Hurdles inside the 10. 17 carries, 87 yards for James. Second and four. On the eight-yard line, Junius Doral in motion. James gets the call again. Pows inside the pile. First and goal from the three. Touchdown. Touchdown. Oh, oh, look at that one. Third touchdown of the year for Wickersham. Is that a neck in reverse? You think he got him conscious of that sweep? <laughs> it's good. And the Tigers lead 27 to 7 with 4.30 to go in the third quarter. We'll be back in a moment. Hilliard scored from four yards. Taking on the five. Nailed at the 20. Scoring two touchdowns in the fourth quarter, so you can't uh, wrap this one up and send it home yet. Allure drops. Patterson's open at the 23. All right. Patterson again. And he's wrestled to the turf. Next week it's Florida, 82,000 plus here tonight. First and ten. What a play. Jock Robinson carried the ball. Good to see Dubrock, who's probably over his injuries, that plagued him the first couple of games. Patterson goes in motion. Pelora has a man open. It's green, and he 
He snags it at about the 47, and Alex Clark brings him down. 27 to 7, Tigers, 242 to go in the third quarter. Three wideouts in the game now. Into the ground for Green, and did he catch it? The official says he did. Second and five. All right, Pelour looks down the line, and somebody isn't set right, or he doesn't like the defense, but he takes the snap, and he's got Patterson and overthrows him. All right, the crowd making it tough for Pelour, no doubt. If he wanted to audibleize, I doubt if he could do it. He dropped back. Here they come. They're picked up, though. He's got time. He's hit as he throws incomplete. Hey, that's the best one of the night. Into the end zone, a 46-yard punt. I thought that's what they were doing all along. <laughs> all right, Hilliard is a setback. Gets a call. Gets the ball. You know, he, he's running. Uh, and we have a second and four. Minute and 32 to go, third quarter. Tigers lead 27 to 7 over the Huskies of Washington. Hilliard to the 29. The Tigers are doing all right without any help from the weather. Third and one. Hilliard is the lone setback, and he gets the call for the right side. Plunges over the 30. 15 carries for 113 yards for Hilliard. 18 carries for 93 yards for James. Motion. Wickersham backpedals quickly. Sets up a screen to Hilliard, but they crack right through and break it up. All right, we've reached the end of the third quarter with a score. The Tigers of LSU 27, the Huskies of Washington 7, back in a moment. Tigers have them down 27 to 7 as we start the fourth quarter. Is this a big game? You bet. Wickersham, second and 12 play. Throws. Oh, Martin is open again. If I were Jerry now, I would sit there and throw it again. Six seconds into the fourth quarter, 27 to 7. First down, a shift. And formation on defense. And it's the offensive. Booker Sham looks right, comes back. Uh-oh. Help. Somebody. Yes! It's caught at the back! Boy, Fontenot's been busy. Hilliard is racked up at the five by Dean Browning, the nose guard. Got a double slot to this side, looks like pass. He's looking this way, and now he's looking at the turf, knocked down on the 15. A strong left this time, but Mitch Andrews a tight end, and what do we have? It's necessarily man coverage. Uh -huh. Well, it took too much time. Get those points, all right, let's see. Play by Eric Martin. It is good. The Tigers are stomping the Huskies 34 to 7. We'll be back in a moment. You bet. Ten, Ten plays, plays, 80 yards, four minutes to kick off. Green and Jackson. They'll take it on the 20. Okay. All right. Ask uh, Bo Schembechler, huh? You bet. Incomplete, intended for Woten, the tight end. The effort's been tremendous. Pelour is 19 of 30, missed his last four deliveries. Drops back. He's got Patterson. He's not a bad flanker, and he's off to the races. Head him off with the pass. Mr. Daniel has some speed. All right, Pelour back in action. Down to the 26-yard line. He whooped one over there. Stransky. Has been shut down here in the second half. Number nine, the flanker at the top of the screen. Green is at the bottom. Allure, the blitz is on. He unloads. There's a collision. Green has it. A fantastic catch and a great throw by Steve Pillar. And Pillar sneaks it. Touchdown. 
Well, I'll tell you, they came back in a hurry, and the Huskies showed some character, 34 to 13, with 11.20 to go, and uh, he's not the best in the world, but he's done a fine job. All right, the kick is up and good, and it's 34 to 14. We'll be back in a moment. With 11.20 to go, but they don't get it. Gathered in on the five. Gary James looking for room to the 23 for the 20 point lead. And then they get criticized if they start throwing the ball around and lose it. So there is a defensive shot by the Huskies. Lynn Madsen made that tackle. Another thing, too, you don't want your, your ball club to start uh, thinking passively. Wickersham drops. Nothing passive about that. First and 10, 10-12 10, to go in the fourth quarter. First down for the Tigers, Wickersham. James is hugged up again. The same play, it appears, and the same guy's got in there. I see he's confident. <laughs> Wake him up and tell him. He's relaxed. Second and 13. Wickersham goes to the air. And he's got to get this play off. Five, four, got it off. Another one intended for Mackey at the midfield stripe, but uh, not close. Here they come. And it's another shank. What is this? First and 10. On the 36. Pallure. Wide open Danny Green. The flag is down. I believe you're going to have a holding. Can you call that a flip? Call it a no. It's first and 15. On their own 31. Stransky's in motion. Pallure running for his life. And he's down. Big Osborne, Clarence Osborne got him by the shirt. The Tigers have shut down the running game, and the Huskies have had to fly all night. There's Stransky as a target, and it's picked off. Hobley comes up with the ball. Excellent play by Hobley. And how about that? Wickersham goes to the air immediately. And he scored twice on the ground himself by a sneak and by a naked reverse or a split roll. Or we fooled him. Hilliard gets the call back. Second and 13. Lang gets the call straight ahead. Third and 10. 6-11 to go in the ball game. Wickersham has a man, Martin again. And he's brought down by Leaphart. That is tough. First down on the 29-yard line of the Huskies. And there goes Hilliard to the 25. The fans are happy here in Tiger Town. Every tick of the clock brings them closer to a win over a, a ball club that was ranked ninth, seventh, and two poles. And there goes Hilliard again. First and 10. On the 18, Jeff Wickersham getting experience tonight against a very good football team. Hilliard that time ran into his own man. Who This was picked as a one or two point, one way or the other, close game. The Tigers have led all the way. Here comes the reverse. Reverse. Doral, good block. To the 10. Personal foul on the out-of-bounds. First goal, first and down, first and goal from the five. Hilliard on a slant. He's racked up hard, picked up about a yard. Not open, throw it out of the end zone. All right, that's what the boys are looking for. Boot oh, they're going the bootleg again, but they read it, but he makes it anyhow. Let me have a chance to finish. The second thing I'll say is the <laughs> <laughs> Wickersham is. 
The kick by Batanzos is no good. Well, uh, you want to say something like that? Miss could be critical, Bert? Nope, I'm beginning to relax a oh, little okay. bit now. So the Tiger fame will spread after this victory. You can bet on that. Batanzos kicks it. Green takes it at the five. And look Man. who's making the tackle. And there, Batanzas came <laughs> way downfield, tackled him behind the 20-yard line. <laughs> All right, here's Jack Robinson up to the 25, and he is... All right, second and eight. And the same... I guess they're just going to run it for a while. Holding is the call. I'm sure a lot of fans were depressed after the Rice game, but you can be impressed after this game. Valor, who's tied in. Leroy Lutu, two. Playing Minute and 57 remaining. Valor wants to throw. Lutu has it at the 46. But the Huskies have not been able to run the football tonight at all. They had 29 yards rushing the first half. And there's an example. John Hazard, the freshman, is in. Uh, Henry Thomas, the nose guard. And there's a carry by Rick Finney. Up and down this field tonight. Valor wants to throw one more. And Stransky gathers it in at the 28. I think he has a well-coached team, but he was correct about what he said. All right, Pelour. And the tight end, Lutu, dropped the ball at the 35. As much of a difference as the score indicates, LSU's played very well, but Washington's hurt themselves an awful lot. Yeah, they have that the penalty. There's a pass that brings it down to two seconds to go, and then Lutu went out of bounds and stopped the clock. All right, this is the final play. Pelour. Another short pass to Stransky, and he's knocked out of bounds, and that's it. <laughs> Jerry Stovall and Don James shake hands at the center of the field. <laughs>